Nobody alive has ever seen this. Nobody. There is a mandatory evacuation here on the south shore of Long Island. What can you do? Mother Nature is Mother Nature. You guys are leaving, correct? Yes, we're leaving right now. Whoa, we really have a gust picking up here right now. They're expected to reach 85 miles per hour, those winds. The whole parking lot and beach is flooded out now. I'm going to have Keith Lopez, our cameraman, tilt down over to the white fence. Half of it's underwater. Never, never seen nothing like this before. Never thought about it, never thought it would ever happen. Especially this far, we're about a, about a mile away from the water. That's engine 12 from the Terry Phil Fire Rescue. Kenny, let's, let's kill that light for a second. This is what so many streets here look like. What we're seeing here is unprecedented on the south shore of Long Island in Massapequa. Water flooding the streets from the canals that have overflowed. And I think Hurricane Irene made everybody feel comfortable and everybody was like, this is going to be nothing. There are power lines that came down onto the sidewalk and we think that the electricity may have set the car on fire. It's all burned out. And we suspect that when daylight comes, we are just going to see areas here that look like a war zone. We heard an explosion. We believe it was a transformer. The trees caught on fire, then the house. We watched it burn down. It was devastating. It's devastating. By 7 o'clock last night, it was, it was about this deep, about four and a half to five feet. We had a, the sandbags out front, and eventually you just heard the garage buckle. If you go down there right now, that water is about five and a half, almost six feet. As we traveled east toward Merrick, most every business was shuttered by the historic power outages. At the end of the day, we have over 900,000 of our customers without service. There used to be dunes there, two, two stories high. This is all the dunes. The dunes came up on your street? Right up, just exploded. What did that sound like? It was uh, like a raging river. This is Nevada Avenue between Beach Street and West Park Avenue. And you can see it's a compilation of mud and seaweed and sand and ocean water that just came rushing up. Which is your house? <laughs> I live all the way down there. Okay. It's going to be okay. I love you more than words can say. I love you always and beyond. Love and kisses, Mom. This is it. This is all I have from her. That one car? That's it. And some pictures that I had in a couple of albums that were in a closet. We're, um, we're very lucky compared to what's happened to the people in New Jersey and other people here in Long Beach. There's a lot of activity here tonight on Park Avenue in the parking lot of the Wallbaum Center here. The people are lining up. They need help. You know, they still don't have any drinking water here. They still can't take showers. We're in a famous venue, and it's the worst for wear. Absolutely. The Jones Beach Theater was standing right now in the seating area, and during the hurricane, this entire area was underwater. This is absolutely the worst in the history of Jones Beach State Park. It looks like this is just part of the beach, like the shoreline's been extended. No, this was... Ocean Parkway, eastbound lanes, there were dunes right here, and obviously they're all gone now. We've been to the North Shore and we've been to the South Shore, and we've covered a lot of flooding and a lot of damage from sand, but when you come to the center of Long Island, you see the story is really about the trees, trees that were uprooted, trees that fell over into homes. Check this out. This tree got impaled by a fence post. We have well over a thousand trees down. We're almost getting to the point where the remainder of our trees are all wrapped up in live wires. So was this street restored and then you had to come back because of the nor'easter? Yeah. We've been out of power since the storm and we can't even get them on the phone. I've called it a hundred times. Where were you when I called you, Kate? We need power! Life is the only that can turn on your electricity. If you need inspections, get out the way. Life behind you, the county. Excuse me. Oceanside, in its 12th day of darkness and heatlessness, 
feels it's the town that the county and state forgot. You want us to arm up because you're not helping us? Huh? My neighbor got robbed at gunpoint. Not one cop in the neighborhood. This is nothing new to you, right? No, ma'am. This is uh, it's what we do for a living when we're not working busted pipes. The density of the population is a lot worse than Katrina. I mean, Here? Yes, ma'am. A lot worse. Why do you say that? Uh, just from the area it stretches from. I've been to Toms River, New Jersey, all the way up here to Long Island. Katrina was a smaller area with less population. The people up here are a lot nicer. They take it a lot better. Uh, the stereotypes we had always heard about New Yorkers, not true. I mean, very friendly people. If there's such a thing as Northeastern hospitality, they have it.